Hello and welcome again to another episode of Math with Sewn. Today, we're going to be working on the angle addition postulate. Let's get into it. So, to start off with, we're going to draw an angle like so. And on this angle, I'm going to name it. I'm going to name it angle A, B, C. Now this is an acute angle, meaning it's less than 90 degrees. A 90 degree angle is one that has a right angle in it, and it forms that perfect T or L shape. So mine's an acute angle, so it's just a little bit smaller than 90 degrees. It's probably around 70 degrees. Now the angle addition postulate is something that means that if you were to take this angle, and if I were to draw a ray going from B to, uh, let's call it D, I have now taken my original angle, ABC, and I have kind of divided it up. So if this smaller part right here, from A to B to D, is 50, and this even smaller part, DBC, this really tiny part, was 20, then I could add those two parts together to get the entire angle, which would mean that 50 and 20 would mean the angle ABC is equal to 70. So it's a relatively simple idea where you just take the two smaller parts of the angle and you add it up to get the whole thing. What that would look like notation-wise would be angle ABD added with angle DBC is equal to angle ABC. So if you take this angle, the small angle, the 50, and the 20, and add them together, you get the whole thing. So that is the concept we are going to be doing today for the rest of our problems. So for our next problem, we're going to have the measure of angle PQR is equal to 141 degrees. All right, and that M just means that the, the angle measurement is going to be given, and that was 141. So don't freak out about that. Angle symbol, PQR. So I'm gonna draw that angle. I'm gonna draw angle P, then Q. Q is the middle point. It is going to be the middle part, the vertex of the angle, and R. And I'm gonna pause there, and say, did I draw the right angle? And the answer to that is yes, and also no, because if it's 141, it should be a little bit bigger. In fact, my PQR should be much bigger. It should be PQR. It needs to be bigger than 90 degrees to be able to encompass the entire thing of 141 degrees. So I just drew a line there down to 141 to kind of denote that that whole angle is 141 degrees. Now, from here, I'm going to draw an additional ray, and I'm going to put an S there, calling it QS. My ray is QS. So let's say that there's some other things that are happening here with QS, and I know that there's some middle parts that I can be given. Let's say that the middle parts are 13X plus 4 for right here, and 10x minus 1 for the SQR. So if I'm given those two things, I can use those to be able to solve 4x, and that's what I want to do. I want to solve 4x. So if I know both of these two things, then I can add up these two parts to equal the whole. So I can add up this chunk right here, PQS and SQR, and it would equal the whole thing, which is 141. So I'm going to add them up. I'm going to add 13x plus 4 and the 10x minus 1 to equal the whole thing, which is 141 degrees. So 13x plus 4, 10x minus 1 equals 141. This is an equation that we have to solve. I'm going to combine my like terms, 13x and 10x combined to make, not 2x, 23x. And we got 4 and negative 1. They're going to combine to make 3. 
four minus one makes three. And remember, if it's on the same side, you do the same thing as it is. Equals 141. From here, we're gonna have to subtract the three to get 23x is equal to 141 minus three is 138. So we have to divide 138 by 23. So I'm gonna divide by 23, divide by 23, and I'm gonna get my x is equal to 128 divided by 23. 138 divided by 23. After taking a while to find my calculator, when I divided them, I got x is equal to six. So there we go. So for our next problem, it's gonna be pretty much the same thing, but the equation's gonna be a little different when we solve it. So I'm gonna be given an angle D, E, F here, and I'm gonna draw that angle. We're gonna start with D, move down towards E, and then move to F. So there's our angle. If we want, we can put arrows, not required. It's technical. And I'm told that the angle DEF is equal to 7x plus 4. So I don't really know if this is an acute or obtuse angle. I'm not going to redraw it. I'm just going to put my angle symbol and kind of arrow down to denote that this is 7x plus 4. So I don't forget it. And it's there and I can see it. Uh, now I am told some other information. I am told that angle GEF is equal to 23 degrees. And I am also told that EG is in the middle, so EG, that ray, is in the middle. I shouldn't even say middle, but it's in between and dividing this angle. Okay, so I'm going to draw the G here. And it is a ray, so I am putting that arrow there. So GEF is 23, so I can label GEF and I can fill in that 23 degrees. And the last thing that we're going to be given is the angle DEG is equal to 5x plus 1. So if I know angle DEG is equal to 5x plus 1, I can fill that in there as well, 5x plus 1. And you'll find that some of these problems won't give you the picture, and you're going to have to draw it out the way that we did here. But now that we have that information, I can add up the two smaller parts or the two inside parts, which is here and here. I can add that 5x plus 1 and the 23. I can add the two portions of the angle and equal it to the whole thing. Well, from here all the way down was the 7x plus 4. That's the whole thing. That's what I'm going to have to set this equal to. And that's the geometry part. And now we just have to solve that algebra equation here. So I'm looking for like terms, and there is one, literally a 1 and a 23. I can combine those, 1 plus 23, they're on the same side. I do the same thing as it says. 1 plus 23 is 24, equals 7x plus 4. Didn't do anything there. Uh, I can move the x's to the left or to the right. And normally I like moving them to the left, but in this case, I think it'd be easier to subtract 5 from 7 than the other way around. You can choose to do the other way if you choose. 7 minus 5 is 2x plus 4. We're going to subtract 4 and get 20 is equal to 2x. And when we divide 20 by 2, we get our answer, which is x is equal to 10. Now, I didn't say what we were supposed to do here, so I could have said find x. We have found it. But we could also be asked to find other things. For instance, what is the measure of D, E, G? I don't know. But if I find X, I can figure out the measure of D, E, G, which is here, the whole thing, D to E, G, G. Nope, D, E, G is the little part, 5X plus 1. So I can plug in the 10 to find the measure of D, E, G. So if I plug in 10 into the 5X plus 1 or this 5X plus 1, then we could get the measure of DEG. So we would do 5 plugging in 10 for x, 5 times 10 plus 1. 5 times 10 is 50 plus 1 is 51 degrees. 
So be careful of your instructions. Sometimes it's just find x, sometimes you have to plug that value for x back in. We're gonna do one more quick problem to finish the day off. Let's say that you are told that angle ABQ is a straight line. So I'm going to draw A, B in the middle, then Q, A, B in the middle, then Q, in a straight line to the best of my ability, and I'm going to redo those points because I messed up. Messing up's okay. Learns your inadequacies. For me, that's drawing. So ABQ is a straight line, and I'm going to also have a different part here, which I'm going to call BD, and BD is going to be cutting through that line. All right? So if I'm told that angle ABD is equal to 130 degrees, labeling it, and I just want to know what is the measure of angle DBQ. Not database question, but the measure of angle DBQ. So I can put an X there if I want to, and I can do it that way. Now you may think that we don't have enough information because we don't know what the whole thing is, but in fact we do because if it is a straight line, fun fact, all lines equal 180 degrees on one side if you take the top half or the bottom half. So all lines are equal to 180 degrees if it's a straight line. So if this whole thing is equal to 180 degrees, well then if there's 130 here, we can just take 130 away from 180. We'd have 50 left over for that angle right there. So that means that this angle right here is just 50. 130 and 50 make 180. So thing to take away there is straight lines equal 180 degrees, and we found our DBQ is equal to 50 degrees. All right? So that was a quick little ending problem for us. The main thing that I wanted you to get there is that straight lines are equal to 180. Till next time, have a great day, everybody, and I will see everybody later.